Okay, oil change. Take this is a Virago 750. Take that off just so that the oil can drain through nice and easy. You take this, the plug out from the bottom. It's that one. Just inspect the end for uh, metal bits, and then the fun begins. Yamaha, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, but holy hell. Okay, I got to take the oil filter out, right? Which means I need to get at this. That's the oil filter cap. And it's just three Allen keys, except you can't get to that one. And to get to that one, you need to take this off, and that's this thing. But to get that off, you need to take the brake off, the rear brake. You can't just loosen that, you gotta take it off. Now, once you get this off, to get this off, you have to loosen the other end. And to loosen the other end, you also have to loosen the crash bar. And to loosen the crash bar, you also have to take this one off. Like, what the hell, guys? What the, f what the, f the Anyway, this is the uh, brake light switch. There you go, not difficult. There's also a little notch on the top, I hope that's in focus, which helps you line up to the notch, the little dot up there so that you know your brake pedal is replaced at the correct spot. Now let's take this off and then see what else we need to loosen. This, I put on too fucking tight. Inanimate carbon rod. Yeah. From there, holding my uh, foot peg into here and just getting it out. Okay, so this one can come out and that's not a problem, but it's still not going to move because it's also attached up here. What the fuck, Yamaha? So this guy is actually a bar that rotates with this one. But now I've got it. No more, I hope. So there is another. Right there. You need to get at. So this one wouldn't loosen without taking off the bottom end of the crash bar. But it also won't loosen unless you do undo the other fucking bolt. So this one too is a bar that goes across to there. So you need to get two on that thing. Two 14s. And I've only got the one in the bike kit. Yamaha. Yay. Bloody hell. I just took the bottom one out because the bottom one has another filter and it also has a, an oil drip to keep it from uh, oil dripping onto the exhaust and burning. As soon as I did that, a whole bunch more oil, probably the oil that was in the filter, came pouring out under here. So if you're doing this, just make sure to keep your oil pan under the hole, not under your filter. I've got mine on the side stand or the kickstand specifically because I want the oil to drain out that way. Okay, when it comes time to take the actual oil filter cap off, you'll notice that there is a spot right here that looks like you can put a screwdriver so you can pop it off. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, once you get to this point, you can see that I did drip a whole bunch of oil onto my pipe and I have to wipe that off before I fire her up again. And there is another filter right here that you also have to replace and not drop into your oil pan because I've done that before and you have to essentially empty the oil pan to fucking find this little black fucker. Just a finger in there. Pull her out. Don't drip too much. A little bit of oil left in there. I'm going to see if I can wipe that out. And I'm going to put the, my new one, CH6004, in. Okay, last time I put this little fill uh, guy in, and it goes right there. Last time I did that, I dropped it into the oil and had to use my old one, which was good because I kept it. But, yeah, let's try not to do that this time. And here comes the fun putting this guy on without dropping it. Ta-da! Okay, let's put this fucker back together. Like this. Okay. 
And now you put in your Allen keys right there, or your Allen whatever fucks, and you tighten them one at a time, like a turn at a time, just so that it goes on even. Because there's a new gasket in there and you're actually pressing the gasket in when you tighten it. When you're uh, putting it back together, remember to include your oil drip when putting the bottom one in back in. Forgetting about it is not cool. Also, I said that I was doing this one turn at a time. I wasn't, I was doing it like a half turn, quarter turn at a time. And I did it right because they all sort of got tight at about the same time. And then I just gave them another quarter slash, or eighth to a quarter of a turn to make sure they're snug. So I got the, uh, the front of this tightened up, just uh, hand tightened. I'm putting this on, just hand tighten. I'm gonna put this back on, hand tighten. And then I'm going to torque fucker, not torque, ratchet, all these fuckers on. Fuck you, Yamaha, what the fuck? Okay, when you're putting this one on, just make sure to hook up your uh, tail light switch or your brake light switch first. Uh, and that's what this is. And it just, when you push down on it, tail lights go on. Um, and that usually acts as a pretty good guide for where to line up these two things. Brake pedal is back together. Foot peg is attached tight at front and rear. Crash bar is also connected. So now what remains is putting her up on the center kick uh, to fill the oil and then to fill the oil. And that's where it goes. We're gonna need to find our funnel. And by ours, I mean my neighbors because I have no idea where mine is. Okay, so I just put her up on the center stand and a whole bunch more oil is coming out and I'm glad I repositioned my tray. So, I've always done this on the side stand, the kickstand. Apparently I've always done it wrong. So put it up on the fucking center stand, it's more stable anyway. And fuck me, but don't make my mistakes. You can be better. Okay, I'm just letting that drip out. Uh, Yamaha recommends 1030, 10W30, if it's cold out. Uh, not going above 20 and 20W40 if it doesn't go below 5. And as much as this is Canada, it's also not going to get cold. And it only gets below 5 a few times while I go out riding. Uh, they don't make 2040 anymore, so I'm using 10W40, uh, which covers all the bases, I think. And it's also Royal Purple, which is a synthetic. Um, but Royal Purple also works with wet clutch or wet clutches. Uh, a lot of synthetics, if you put in to a motorcycle uh, with a wet clutch, you can be fully engaged and going nowhere because it's just going to slip. But this stuff is good. My neighbor's been running it in his bike for a couple of years. So from memory, I remembered it took three and a bit bottles to put in here. Three and a bit. And I always just chalk it up to estimate. There's a little window down here that you can see, which indicates your amount of oil in there. I'm gonna get a flashlight and shine it on there when I'm filling her up. Um, but then, while I was taking the cap off, I cleaned it for a change and it says 3,000 cubic centimeters, which is three liters. So each one of these bottles is 946 millimeters, milliliters, which means that I gotta have like three and an eighth to do a full fill according to the cap. So it all checks out. All right, what I like to do is I'm gonna run a little bit into the engine while it's not plugged, uh, just to help sort of wash out the old stuff a little bit. And because I got lots of extra, I'm not too worried about it. Here it comes. Nice and purple. So I know that it's clean inside. All right, let's uh, let that come out and then we're gonna fill up the rest. And I literally just put a splash in, like maybe a shot glass worth. Just Easy, slowly, and then we check the window. Okay, so I put all three in, and uh, it's easy for you to see. You can sort of see, there we go, the level of oil that's in there now, and you can see that it's just at the max line. And the reason that it's just at the max line is that it hasn't cycled through the oil filter at all yet. 
So, I'm gonna run the bike for a couple of minutes, or a minute, and then uh, put some more in if I need to. You can see, now that I've got her running, all the oil is gone. So I've got the engine. All I'm doing is waiting for the oil to come back down. Again, I don't know if you can see, but it's come down to a lower level. I'm just gonna put it in so that I don't get close to the middle. I'm gonna get close to the max line because I know this bike likes to be fuller than normal. Otherwise I get the oil light coming on in the first minute and minute and a half of my ride and then it goes off because everything is fucking fine but Yamaha you're killing me you're killing me you're killing me all right you can see pretty clearly here I think that the oil hasn't really come up any so I'm going to put a bit more in until it gets to the closer to the max line and then I'm done <laughs> 